All right, so you are ready to publish your page and make it v uh, visible to your audience. Now, hopefully you've been building your page and at some point you've created a site title. You've given it a name. So I'm just going to call it a uh, tutorial example, right? And you'll see once I save that, that name shows up here. I can, of course, edit it to make it more uh, proper in how it looks. I'm going to have to change this as well. Um, and that's important because when you go to publish your page by hitting the uh, publish button in the top right hand corner, it's going to use that as the web address. Now you'll notice it's a really big address here, right? Sites.google.com slash your domain. Uh, in my case, BT BOCES for Broom Tioga BOCES, btboces.org slash, and then what the web page is called. So if that's good, if it's all set to go, you can hit publish. But before you hit publish, one thing you might want to look at is this permission level here. Who can view my site? By default, right now, this is set to be anyone at btboces.org. So if I were to publish this site and give you the link to it, it would ask you to log in with a BT BOCES account in order to see that. Now, that might be a good thing, especially when we're talking about younger students with digital portfolios, keeping them inside domain access provides a little bit more security. But in this case, if you're trying to show this website to your, your parents, your students, whoever it may be, uh, they won't be able to see it. So just like a Google Doc, we can change that by clicking Manage. And then I'm going to say uh, the published view right here. I'm going to change it so that anyone can find and view the published version. Right. Again, that's because in my case, in my instance, I want anyone to find it. You can always change that setting at a later time. Uh, so then if I hit publish, da, 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 boom, it is out on the web. And you'll notice now the little link up here, uh, it says copy published site link. That is the site link you could go to to view this particular page, right? I can copy that link. I can send it out to my people, uh, my audience. I can put it in a URL shortener if needed, but that web link is now live. In fact, let's go try this. If I copy this and if I open an incognito window, because then no one, uh, I'm not logged in as any account. When I paste that in and go to view it, hey, that's the website. It's really working. And if I click on other page, there's other page, right? It's there. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so that is how you can publish your web page.